Many people wouldn't think of holding a 4th of July celebration without some fireworks and fun by the water. And if that's the case for you, it's certainly important to make sure safety is a top priority. Haley Bacurus, the community outreach specialist with the Kyle Fire Department, joins us this morning to talk more about it. Good morning, Bailey. Good to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Glad to be back. Yeah, good, good to be back with you as people are getting ready to celebrate the 4th, maybe in a way that they didn't last year or couldn't. So it is important to kind of have some of those reminders. We want to start with talking about firework safety. I know you've got some points to talk about. And the first one is it's never a bad idea to leave it up to the professionals if you can just do it that way. Yeah, absolutely. We always say that. I mean, luckily, there's plenty of free firework shows in our area in Central Texas this weekend. The sad fact is that fires are responsible for over 19,000 fires every year. Fireworks can be dangerous. Um, in 2019, over 10,000 people visited the ER for fireworks related injuries. And sadly, over one third of these injuries were children under 15 years old. It's important to remember that it's not always the person using the firework that gets injured. We wanna make sure that we're never having our kiddos play with fireworks. And a lot of people think, you know, sparklers, that could be a fun alternative, but these are responsible for a lot of injuries too. In fact, over 25% of the ER visits for fireworks related injuries were from sparklers. They burn at over 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. You can have some safe alternatives for kiddos instead. You know, we talk about maybe patriotic decorations or noisemakers, glow sticks are fun when it gets dark or maybe break out some red, white, and blue silly string. Yeah, uh, my experience as a young kid, silly string and noisemakers, they can get plenty crazy with those and uh, have plenty of fun and plenty of cleanup for mom and dad, just like the fireworks would be afterwards. So that'd be a good alternative. Mm -hmm. But it is important, like you said, to, to have someone, if, if you're going to be uh, shooting off fireworks as a group of family and friends, to really know the crowd, be in charge, know who's going to be able to handle what. And like you said, for, for the smallest of kids, they're just going to watch no matter who's doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we also do want to talk about um, water safety. Uh, obviously, so many people will be in and around the water in big gatherings like this. And we, we talk about this a lot on the show, uh, how dangerous the water can be when it comes to drowning, but how preventable drowning deaths are if we're just on the lookout. Exactly. Like you said, drowning, it's fast, it's silent, but with a little extra added safety, it is preventable. A lot of people don't think about the fact that drowning is actually the leading cause of accidental death for children under five. And for every drowning that there is, even more children are sent to the hospital for non-fatal injuries from near drowning experiences. Um, we always want you to have a designated adult, you know, supervising our kiddos when they're in the water. And this is full supervision. This isn't, you know, while you're grilling or checking your phone. We want you watching that water, making sure that they're safe. Barriers are also a great idea. These can be things like fences, gates, maybe you have pole alarms or covers. And lastly, a little education can go a long way. Maybe you get your family involved in swim lessons or maybe really learn what drowning looks like because it's not exactly what we see in the movies. And finally, brushing up on those CPR skills or learning CPR is always a great idea. We yeah. just wanna make sure everyone celebrates safely this weekend. Absolutely, and, and we talk with uh, Collins Hope, the charity so much on here about drowning. And sometimes if you're at a lake house, even if the plan for the day isn't to get in the lake, if you're right by the water and there's kids all over the place, you need to be watching that all the more as if someone might get in because some kid might fall in or or get in when no one's looking. So it's just important to be aware if you're around water, even if you're not planning to get in. Absolutely. Yeah. Good information as always, Bailey Bacouris from the Kyle Fire Department. We appreciate it. Enjoy the 4th of July. Good to visit with you. Thank you. You too.